I always say that the Chiron is a difficult placement to have no matter what sign is in the Chiron, but, but the Chiron is a difficult area to deal with in your birth chart, no matter what your sign is. But I was, I'm out here on the beach, major bay, gang, gang. And I was just thinking about um, some of the fire Chirons. The fire sign Chiron is my fire sign. Is, my Chiron is a Leo. And I can tell you that without hesitation, because I know that in spite of all, I will prevail. So, yeah. But I was thinking about some of the fire signs. Then I went to looking at uh, Sagittarius. Damn, Sagittarius, y'all really, y'all be at odds with y'all self. I mean, it's really like a, a God complex ass position to be in when your Chiron is in Sagittarius. Well, I'm not actually leaving yet, but I had to come out here so I can make this video because um, my other videos were kind of low. But it's kind of like a, a crazy place to be in. Because on one hand, you're a fucking genius because the opposite of you is Gemini. And we already know that Geminis are the, um, they come from planet Mercury, which is all about communication. Geminis love to freaking learn. So from that aspect, and then if your Chiron is a Sagittarius, you already have that teacher-like quality about yourself. That philosopher, um, philosopher quality. That philosopher aspect about yourself of all of um, wanting to receive, wanting to learn more. Um, well, that's supposed to be your area. You're supposed to be out here teaching. So when your Chiron is in Sagittarius, you guys are not teaching or maybe hesitant towards teaching or maybe hesitant towards um, learning. Or you guys may want somebody to teach you, to, uh, tell you what they learned, and then you don't want to go back and do no research to see if the shit is true or not. So, causing your ass to get bamboozled and either one, be in a thousand fucking religions and one, or like not have any form of religion or spiritual belief at all. And not saying that it's a bad thing to not have any um, spiritual belief or even want to have a spiritual belief. I'm just saying that that's a difficult place for me. And I already know that we live... We're currently in the matrix, and sometimes it's difficult thriving in the matrix without having some type of source or independent structure or whitewashed structure to believe in. So, you know, I'm not gonna really down you too much if you don't believe in shit um, outside of yourself. Sound baby, my, my, my shit gonna clear up though. You feel me? That shit gonna clear up. I ain't erasing shit. I can only get better, baby. I can only get better, baby. So, again, um, like I was saying, when your Chiron is in Sagittarius, you guys, like, it's a, it's a God complex. One, you're supposed to be the teacher, and the opposite of you is Gemini, so you are the teacher and the student at the same time. So, I'm supposed to be teaching, but I fucking hate learning. That's, wow. Oh, my God, Sagittarius. So, the only, I would just say just keep learning. I would say if you find a religion or something that you hate, fucking un like write down why you hate that religion, right? So then, therefore, when you go out to talk about, if you have this conversation about religion with somebody, you can just have a whole breakdown of why you hate that religion. And the studious part of you don't learn the reason why you hate that religion. And the teaching part is not teaching other motherfuckers why that religion is bullshit. Um, so that's how I want, that's one way that you can continue to overcome or eat or continue to elevate your chakras and continue to move out of their root chakras well by dealing with your chiron that's trying to hold you back because again you the fire sign baby it's meant for you to really be out here on some on some gang gang higher learning type shit you feel me like sagittarius aquarius they know what's up they know that you don't have to go to no outside source or no have no middleman to connect to the most divine being I just connected with mother. I might have tried to turn my key. You should say, yeah, I told you I was going to leave. Go just go make the video and come back. I got to go back. I wasn't done being cleansed. You know, when your Chiron is in, when your Chiron is in Sagittarius, it also may be hard for you guys to, um, I don't want to 
want to say hard, but you may be skeptical upon like traveling. You feel me? Like, and that's another thing because both Gemini's are, you feel me? They can, you, with Gemini's in the wind, they in the wind. But see, think about it, Sagittarius, you guys are natural travelers. Like, you guys are, are natural, have the natural gift of just being free, of being in a wild. I mean, you have man, have horse. So, with that being said, when you got when your Chiron is in Sagittarius, you may Sagittarius kind of low key are home bodies, but again, they like to travel, they like to do shit, they like to experience shit outside of the norm. And when your when your Chiron is in Sagittarius, you may become like scared of that. So one way that I would try to elevate that elevate that as well is like if I'm in my hometown, if I had to say if I had a, if I if my Chiron was in Sagittarius and I was trying to heal myself or I was in the process of healing myself. I was starting my hometown, a little funky ass city, funky ass little hometown that I grew up in. I would go 10 miles, 20 miles outside that radius. All right, another couple of days, go another 10 miles, another 20 miles outside that radius. And I will keep expanding because one thing about it, Sagittarius, you guys are not meant to live in fear at all. Y'all like that cool ass auntie that don't went off and okay, make them like, yeah, all that shit is bullshit. Fuck your nine, get your money. Get your money, black man. <laughs> I love saying that part. But um, just continue to heal. I'm, I'm really, I'm kind of tired right now. I went out with some, with one of my friends last night. She's a Capricorn. Hey, shout out to my Capricorns. My boss, big boss Capricorns. My money making Capricorns. Yeah. Again, guys, it's it's a lot, you know. I do know that having a chi like just working with your Chiron can be difficult. Like I said, I'm a life path three. I'm all about creativity. I'm all about um, putting my gifts out there. But then my Chiron is in Leo, which is like, no, baby, I know I'm meant to heal, baby, but slow down, baby. They ain't ready for you, baby. They ain't ready for that situation. shit. The opposite of me is Aquarius. So I have to work it, all right? Sagittarius. The world is ready for your words, okay? You're not meant to just sit around and just be on some small town gossip shit. You're actually meant to be out there healing healing people by being a motivational speaker. By I don't know, having some type of traveling club. Maybe you can have a maybe you can um open you up with some type of transit bus and you just carry some youth around and, and, and teach them about different cultures or take them to different restaurants so they can just get the so they can get the fuck away from McDonald's and 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 fucking Burger King and KFC with that fake ass food. Cause that shit is fake. And Sagittarius, if you I don't care what placement you what placement you got Sagittarius in, if you still eating damn um pork. Maybe you need to pinch yourself, bite yourself, do something. Cause you know that ain't right. You know that ain't right. Nine nine divine time and I'm out. This is nature of bay. Game, game, life path three, bay, supreme, beja, the kiss of truth, divine order, cosmic order. Come on, y'all already know I'm finna go back and get in my element. Wind, hill, snow, I don't care. Sunshine, I'm out here. I'm in nature. I'm connected. I'm grinding, baby. Gang, gang.